Hello guys, today I want to talk about like the simple way to create uh, some report in Data Studio using what's that available already in template. It will be pretty quick, as you could see. I want to make uh, some uh, table based on the couple of column that I already have, like question ID, username, subject ID, grade ID, when it was created, subject name and grade name. And we try to use it like with longitudinal data. So the result will looks pretty uh, complete and customized. So first thing, like you have to have already the uh, spreadsheet that you want to manage with everything has to be like in a universal uh, type, like the ID, the username and so on. And make sure like one is as the primary key. Then you can go to Google Analytics here like they already provide you with a couple of sample. So if we going, for example, sorry, to Google Data Studio, uh, I will, for example, go into Data Studio here. And for example, I want to open some what is available, the template. I will open from template gallery. And then I will just go to what my favorite, for example, I like Firebase report because it's like, white and it's clean so that's pretty important so i will like check first they have the feature of the date as the query as you could see here and then they have like user by device type user by device model and so on something that later on we can modify and using as our own this is something also like one table that can accommodate all the like total needs number so for example here i like it i just i will use this template i click use template and then i will copy the report data source i will specify i will click create new data source and i will take it from google sheet okay and i will try to check from which google uh, spreadsheet that i already prepared before the name is like answer for the tree indonesia so I should take it from there. Answer for the three that is here. And then which uh, sheet that you want to use. As I remember, the name of the sheet here is like update 9.12 or it's like today date. And then I will use it. Use first row as the header, yes. Include hidden and filled cell. Mm, uh, maybe not because I will not use it. And then connect. It takes some time and it will check you. Are you sure you want to add taken here? Like date created, create ID, great name, question ID, subject ID, subject name, username, and record count. Make sure that all this one is correct, especially the type because record count, for example, it's in number. Date created, it should be in date, great ID, it will be, I prefer in text. Uh, so I add to report here and then i copy the report so first what i need here so there is like information active user and so on so i will customize it with what i need here there are like uh several theme that is also available that you can just directly use uh we can use it if you want but i would rather stick on here because this is what actually i want and later what is not necessary i will just take it out so first like i will take something like here like the users this is the previous one that i like and this one i will just remove i don't need this i will remove dashboard i will remove because i like this design okay and then this unique users i will for example here I will change the name instead of unique users. It's like amount of trees planted. And then in here, I will pointing on the data. And then here they have the previous uh, usage and I don't need this. So I will click on this invalid matrix. And then I will check like, what is the previous data about? Like this is showing like, username subject id create id that created so i want to get all the question id like how many question already created or anything that it can be counted as a total number so i will take this question id 
and then here is showing like how many actually already the amount of question id there okay and then there is like with the no data here uh, uh it's we can just ignore it for now okay and then i want to also like know what is the the amount of trees planted like day by day okay so user by device type here maybe i will make it like more into integrate into one so user by device model here i will just remove it here and then this i also remove it i remove it and then i will try to make all this one bigger to here and then here i also will uh, try to make it like much smaller later i don't know what i will use with this but let's say like like now we don't really need it so i will just make it smaller and put it here and this one i also like maybe remove it and then i will use all this one and try to resize it here okay so here there is information the pie chart is not complete okay so what i want now is like i will take some of the data this is like pie chart definitely i don't want to take pie chart but i want to take for example stack column chart okay so i choose stack column chart seems like they don't want so let's remove it and then i will type like users who answers for the tree okay and then i add new charts which is stuck chart here stuck column chart and then i will drag it from here to here okay so the dimension they di di directly taking like all the necessary what do you want and so on the dimension etc etc so instead of like for example question id i want to take this one based on date created so we will see like the amount of answer based on the date of creations as you could see 5 december 29 november and so on and i want and then this is like user who answered the tree based on the username so i instead of this i want to switch for example because this is like this scanning i want to make it as a scanning so i'm going to style and then choose the bar for example i want to add even more like 15 bars okay and then uh the series i want to add for example 14 so there will be more uh, like day okay and then uh, i want to like reverse the x axis to here as you could see and then here user will answer for the trees it will filter it by itself on the right side here so for example here we got the data and this is based on the username and how about based on the subject uh, we'll see like based on the subject we also can see uh, but first let's make it the filter so the dimension first it's like let's say based on the grid name and then the matrix here like we can remove it like into for example question id and boom so based on the grid name and then the second one it's for example based on the subject name and then in the matrix will be uh, question id okay because we believe question id is the 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 private uh hot call it is uh this key like the primary key so grid name we already got subject name we got here we can also change the dimension into username for example the dimension here we change into username and the matrix will be like question id still and basically like now is almost ready so if you click here we want to view if you click based on the people who answering in senior high and primary key only you could see how many is it and this is pretty clean like so you could see like amount of trees 
how many people answering based on the subject name and who is the username here and this is actually like really really cool and then here the date actually also we could use but rather right now i will skip it's very useful also for google analytics and so on but right now let's let's not use it first here and then we have all this is ready and then we can edit one more time like let's see like we want we already here already like based on subject name so let's see like now we want to make the same again but we want to make based on the answers uh, subject like popular subject that mostly user answer okay so for example we want to make a chart here like pie chart and we put it just right here and then we can add for example this is the popular subject but instead of popular subject dimension we want to make it like instead of question id we want to like put its subject name and then the metric it's like record count or question id also no problem and we could see like how many actually answer given on this specific subject we block this one and then make it big as you could see and then for example this we already have on popular subject and then we want to make it based on the grid id so we can also use like grid id so for example popular grid and then we can make it much a little bit bigger and for example we want to create also another pie chart here so we can put insert the pie chart and put it here basically and then also the dimension here let's say we want to take it based on grid name and we got the data like most of the answer is in junior high school a little bit in senior high school and so on and basically we have uh, the our information is ready for the consumption okay so hopefully it's answer a bit about how to use uh, the Google spreadsheet and then display it in the nice way in Google Data Studio and if you think this is helpful feel free to subscribe and have a nice day thanks for stopping by see you later